Hello guys, welcome back to the home automation project. In this video, we'll add a few screens to control home appliances and to read a sensor data. So we'll in this screen we'll add a few appliances. We'll add uh, bulbs only. Uh, likewise, we will add eight bulbs on the same screen, and the uh, the label will be toggle. If we touch the label, it will uh, toggle in on and off. We will program this case. We will send the events to the controller, and uh, in uh, next on display only we will add code, which will handle the toggling action. We'll add new screen here for sensor value. We'll add a few sensors. These are the this is a dummy screen, so you won't get data on the screen right now. But we can add the data. We can show the data later. On welcome screen, we will have to add a timer. So on timeout, we'll uh, switch to uh, menu screen. So we'll uh, we'll call for page number. Here we uh, we will be initializing timer. And on timeout, we'll calling the menu screen. Here this is a code for uh, the screen, 
when this screen comes this code will get execute and the variable get initialize so for each label i have maintain one variable so it will store the state of that uh, label whether it is on if it is on then the variable will be having value as a 1 and if it is off then variable having value as a 0 so likewise i will be uh, i will take eight variables for eight uh, labels eight appliances and scope of the variable should be global We'll have to program labels as well. That is uh, uh, on the basis of that label, the variable get will get updated. So make sure the uh, labels and the variable should match. Otherwise, uh, state will be mismatch. Let's compile the code. We'll debug the code. So we'll be calling directly page number five and we'll check the events. Yes, it is working properly. So we'll uh, We'll call another page from here and we'll check whether it is uh, retaining the value or not. Yes, it is retaining. So, yes, it is working. We will go for demo now. Let's see the demo. Uh, 